GamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our FCS wraparound. We're going to take you across the country to take a look at some of the big games this week in the FCS. But first, let's start off in the Ivy League, where Cornell battles Bucknell. First up, we have the Bucknell Bison taking on the Cornell Big Red. And for Bucknell, six sacks the last game versus Maris. And they're coming off a bye week, so they had two weeks to prepare for the Big Red. Now, they play a ball control efficient offense, and their secondary will be tested this week. So this will be a very good game played by Bucknell. Now, for Cornell, replacing some of their key weapons at receiver and on that offensive line, but they still have superstar quarterback Jeff Matthews. And I believe three weeks into the season, the Big Red are ready to hit somebody else. I like Cornell to win this ball game. Next up, we have the Duquesne Dukes taking on the Youngstown State Penguins. And for Duquesne, they have an excellent quarterback receiver combination. And Dylan Butchel and wide receiver Gianni Carter have combined for three touchdowns so far this season. And it seems like for Youngstown State quarterback, Kurt Hess has been there forever. They're explosive offensively, but keep an eye on their defense. Linebackers Travis and Tevin Williams, no relation, are outstanding. Travis Williams will be a pro prospect. And I like the Penguins in this ballgame. That defense will be very good all season long. And I think they slow down what Duquesne does offensively in the passing game. Another big battle taking place here in New Jersey. We have the Lehigh Mountain Hawks traveling down to Princeton to take on the Tigers. And for Lehigh, they have to avoid the Thrillers. The Mountain Hawks have to get off the field on third downs, and their offense is averaging 500 yards a game. It's pretty darn good in the FCS right now. And for Princeton, they open up the 2013 season looking strong defensively. Keep an eye on defensive tackle for Ron Reed. He's a legit NFL prospect, and I like Princeton in this ballgame. This is a classic matchup of top offense versus a very good defense, and quiet has kept Lehigh has given up over 500 yards a game on defense so i like the tigers to win their home opener versus the mountain hawks of lehigh next we have the tennessee state tigers traveling to take on the tennessee tech golden eagles now the tigers get back their quarterback michael german and their defense is very strong ac leonard the tight end should have a big day catching the football now for tennessee tech the eagles offense is also very good they can beat you in many different ways wide receiver cody matthews is a big play waiting to happen but i like tennessee state in this ball game the defense plus the normalcy that returns to offense with German. I like them to win this ball game on the road. Next up, we have Panhandle State taking on the Montana Grizzlies. Now for the Aggies, they're coming off a 75 to nothing loss to Lamar last weekend. And for Montana, they thrashed North Dakota 55 to 17. This is the best defensive performance I've seen from the Grizzlies in two years. And I like them to win this ball game. And in order for the Aggies to have a shot, they're gonna have to maximize on every possession and force some turnovers. But I see the Grizz rolling big in this one. Big battle down in Texas as Sam Houston State hosts Incarnate Word. Now for the Cardinals, they're riding a two-game winning streak and their offensive explosion is led by dual-threat quarterback Trent Britton. Now for Sam Houston State, Brian Bell, the quarterback, must eliminate the passing miscues in order for these guys to have some success. Defensively, this is still a Bearcats defense that's very tough, and I'm a big fan of their linebacker, Tanner Brock, who's a legit NFL prospect. Look for Sam Houston State to win this one big at home. And finally, the spotlight game of the week is between the Delaware State Hornets as they travel out to Fargo, North Dakota to take on the Bison of North Dakota State. And this is a spotlight game of the week. ESPN Game Day will be out there in attendance. Now, for Delaware State to have a chance, they have to get Milton Williams, the outstanding receiver, involved in the passing game early. And he's going to have to win that battle between him and Marcus Williams throughout the course of the matchup. Now, for NDSU, their running game sets the tone for how well they do offensively. If they can control the line of scrimmage, they're going to ultimately run the football, operate off play, actually do a great job. But defensively, I like what I see Grant Olson at linebacker, Marcus Williams at corner. I think the Bison put on an impressive show for ESPN and showed the FCS world and the rest of the country how dominant of a football team the Bison really are. And I want to give a huge shout out to our FCS sponsors at ChampionshipSubdivision.com the fine folks at eGrizz.com. CollegeSportingNews.com has been a great sponsor as well. And also College Sports Journal, CatFans.com, and finally the fine folks at AnyGivenSaturday.com. Thanks to all of our sponsors that really show support for football game plan and FCS football.